Let's go into the world of showbiz. Oh. Now, uh, because it's time for the gruesome twosome, as you call them. Yeah. Um, Harry and Megs. Yeah, that, well, they, 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 they've turned this uh, Invictus Games uh, thing into a sort of PR... Of course they have. ...crusade. It's a power Why play. is anybody surprised? You know, they're full of happy, snappy, and last night was Harry's 39th birthday. Uh, he's 39, but he's reached the mental age of three. Yeah, right. Uh, and apparently he drank... Uh, this was a quote, because right. he was seen boozing it up. Good uh. for him. Why not? Enjoy your birthday. I don't think he was allowed. But, of course, it has to be tempered down. The official quote was, no, no, no. He drank six small beers. That's quite a lot, isn't it? Six beers is quite a lot for him. Six beers. Yeah. But it makes a change. Normally, I think for his 19th birthday, he was surrounded by strippers and had about 19 yeah. beers. You know, I think he was happier in those days. Yeah, yeah, well, we were happier with yeah. him. But also, all this hand-holding... I was saying this to somebody yesterday. Um, you know, nobody at that age, having had two children, walks around with this kind of, you know, loving look in their eyes, staring into each other's eyes, holding hands. Oh, God. I mean, you know, you just don't do it. It's pathetic. There's something it? pathetic about it's these it's public it's displays of affection. I, I've been saying all along, look, the Invictus Games are a, a great event, mm. and full marks to Harry uh, for creating them and, uh, and supporting them in the way that he has here and in a way I don't want to be churlish about her turning up and helping to turn the event into a success but she is incapable of doing anything no, she can't. without being irritated exactly so she turns out and say I'm so sorry I was late I was on the school run and I had to get the kids some milkshakes that's like you know as I said yesterday you know, imagine her also, she wasn't late yeah but she's in California going no. oh my god I says, I'm on the school run I suppose to be in Dusseldorf. What a load of rubbish. Also, have you seen the people he's drinking with? Um, he yeah. said he enjoyed a German meal for his birthday. What and he's drinking mean? Sauerkraut. Well, I presume sauerkraut. Well, I and sauerkraut. Some, uh, yeah, he ate sauerkraut. That full vine he should have had. I went to a place is in there, are there any? Is there any German food that's worth eating? Actually, I quite like sauerkraut. Do you? I, I, I hate fr sauerkraut. I went to Frankfurt once, right, and they've got these restaurants there where you yeah, go in yeah, and yeah. it's a big, long table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I was on my own waiting to get on a plane to Bosnia or something. So I went in there and you basically just get... There's a big tray of full vine, uh, which you go up and just grab a glass. And when you, at the end, you just tell them how many you've had. Yeah. I couldn't remember. Yeah. Um, so when I went to pay, he was like, how many? I said, I don't know. A uh, 10? 12? Uh, <laughs> I've no idea. And you, and you just sit, <coughs> sit on this kind of communal yeah, yeah, table. Yeah, it's yeah. quite fun. I have a bit of, uh, um, you know, a bit of bratwurst and sauerkraut oh, uh, and potatoes. Kartoffel, I think they call it. Disgusting It was nice. Very I nice. I mean, you know, like, if you're going to go on a culinary tour of Europe, my suggestion, leave Germany no, out. Veal schnitzel. Oh, also good. Well, veal schnitzel. Wiener schnitzel. I mean, you're a vegetarian anyway. What do you care? Wiener schnitzel's a boring dish. Well, it's not as boring as being a vegetarian. It's very boring. It's not as boring as being a vegetarian. Well, what, you don't I mean, even if, know what a vegetarian is. Yeah, I do. Oh, you don't? What you're, is it, then? Well, you're, you're one, aren't no, you? No, I'm not, because I eat fish. Oh, so you're not a vegetarian. So you, you, you'll never get it right, will you? No, I won't. What's a vegan? Uh, a vegan is somebody who doesn't eat fish. Because <laughs> that's not you. <coughs> among yours. other things, among right. other things. Anyway, let's move but on. Anyway, eating veal schnitzel <laughs> is by far and away better than not eating meat, I uh, would by, say. By the way, what, one other... Well, OK, if you say so, very bland dish if you ask me. Uh, the Montecito duo, of mm. course, also in uh, Dusseldorf posed for pictures with NATO chiefs. <laughs> and this was seen as a direct assault yes. on Prince William, who's gone to New York for talks with the UN. So mm. the brothers are still at war. Yeah. I mean, also, it must be really, really important for the military to see members of the royal family posing with them, uh, because it yeah. sends such yeah. a strong message, got, doesn't it? Uh, I've got a message for those NATO chiefs. Don't pose with them again. It's not a great it's look. It's not uh, a great